Coming up today, we're chatting with Caitlin Harnett prior to her gig at the Stag and Hunter Hotel tomorrow night. It's a very important album for me. It means a lot to me, so. I'll tell you about the new Maitland Jail tours and Dan will tell you about Mammal's brand new single. Produced on a Wobbacle and Warra My Land, this is The Good Stuff, powered by BYD on Newcastle Live. This is good. Good. Good stuff. Visitors to Maitland Jail will soon be able to walk along the metal catwalks that used to be used by guards to keep the inmates in check. (laughs) The newly launched Tower Tour is an experience that will give people an unparalleled view of the prison and its surroundings. Tower Tours will begin running at Maitland Jail from December 7th. To find out more and book a spot, head on over to newcastlelive.com.au. Good, 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 good. Stop! Caitlin Harnett and the Pony Boys are playing the Stag and Hunter tomorrow night. Here's a chat that we had with Caitlin earlier this week. I'd love to know, how's the tour been going so far? Yeah, it's been going really good. Like, we've, um, we've done Melbourne and Adelaide so far. And we were just saying the other day to the boys, like, it feels like it's been... We've been on tour for like a month, but it's like we've only done like we've we're only on the second week. <laughs> yeah, it does seem like that. Um, yeah. Just from well, what you've been putting up on the socials too. Yeah, we always have stuff on. Like there's always something. <laughs> Earlier this year, you took out the best country act nationwide in the National Live Music Awards. How did that feel? Oh, it was amazing. It was um, yeah, it's such an honor. We. We won the um, best live act in that, um, I think, a year or two ago, and then, or the year wow. before, and then, yeah, then to win like best live country act, yeah, it felt, um, yeah, just such, so, yeah, an honor. You know, you don't, it's hard to like, it's hard in competition and kind of like, you know, everyone's got their own, you know, opinion and their own taste so it it does you know everyone in that category was amazing they were all best life country acts really you know yeah (laughs) but it's nice to get to take home the the little trophy add it to the collection absolutely you're gonna have to get a second trophy rack or something (laughs) (laughs) all night long has been out for a little while now um it hasn't even been out for a month which is pretty crazy too Amazing. It feels like it's been out for, yeah, for ages now. <laughs> mm. Yeah, so from what I've heard, um, you've been working on that one for a while. Uh, how does it feel to finally have it out in the world? Um, it was, yeah, a big relief. I Now that it's out, like all of my fears and anxieties about releasing it are kind of gone now that I'm realising people do like it and, um <laughs> You know, I guess, you know, I was worried that it wouldn't be as good as the first record or that people would, you know, not like the songs as much. But the overall feedback is that it's, um, yeah, transcended the first record, which is good. That's what I wanted. So um, it's a very important album for me. It means a lot to me. So, yeah. Yeah. Well, I mean, you were you were super vulnerable on your first album. I mean, yeah. reading into this second album, heaps of people are saying that you're <laughs> vulnerable, but I'm like, mate, you put it all out there in the first album too. Yeah. And, yeah. of course, super relatable. So I was going to ask, were there any songs that you were a bit scared of actually putting out there? Um, not really. Like I think... I mean, I've always, been, I'm very open. I'm very, I'm a very open book. So yeah. I don't, I don't really fear too much what, what people will think or um, I guess, you know, because at the end of the day, we're all just, we're all feeling these things. We're all feeling the same things in, in some ways. So, um, but yeah, maybe uh, if I don't have you was probably like the most vulnerable song on the record, I think, and can't have it all. They're like the two that I was, yeah, maybe a little bit more nervous about, I guess. Um, but, yeah. Such a brilliant album. I really love um, I'll Get By. I think that's such a brilliant <laughs> song. Absolute oh, banger. How's the audience response been so far on tour? Oh, it's been amazing. People have been singing along, like singing all the words. Our Melbourne show was sold out and it was 
I think like 350 people and um, just, yeah, like a lot of moments where I wasn't even singing and the crowd was singing and it was just so special, especially because yeah. they are all new songs and it's just so nice to, to see people like, you know, singing along to all the words. So exciting. <laughs> <laughs> it's so good. And look, we're so excited to have you back here in Newey this Friday at the Stag and Hunter. It's been forever since you've been down in Newey. Why has it been such a long time? I don't know. I guess like we just, we haven't really had a, like had a, oh, well, we did a little um single tour, but we just kind of kept to, we didn't go anywhere kind of regional or kind of out of, we just did Sydney and Melbourne, I think. So yeah. it's been a while since we've done a proper tour, but we do always come to Newcastle on the tour, on a bigger tour because we love it. And the tickets are selling so quick, like, so you better get in hot. Yeah, exactly. Obviously, you can have a dog spot. <laughs> <laughs> Thanks. I've already got my tickets. I'm not oh, missing what? out on that. Yeah, hell yeah. <laughs> um, I'm so keen for it. And, I mean, I'm sure it's going to be extra big because I think the last time we saw you down – almost this way would have been um, at Dashville last year, which was oh, yeah, quite a while ago. Yeah. Yeah, a year, over a year ago. I yeah. love Dashville. Before Very I let fun. you go, <laughs> yeah. I want to ask you about the recording process for the album. What was this one yeah. like? Uh, this one was still a bit of a scramble as always. Um, I we booked in to go to a studio, so we actually did it in a proper studio this time instead of just at Joe in Joe's lounge room. Yeah, um, right. But it's yeah, we recorded it all live, um, and like all the vocal takes, everything's all live, um, and we just did it in like two days. And like a, we kind of had only planned to go and record like four songs, and I had a bunch of other songs that I'd kind of like half written in my head and kind of just showed the boys on the day um and yeah so a lot of the songs are just like the first time we've played them together which wow. is you know pretty uh dicey but I think it <laughs> I like to work like that yeah and I mean yeah. how special is that going to be because obviously that means that those songs are going to evolve as you play them exactly. more. that's well, really exactly. cool and they have they have yeah yeah, yeah. Excellent. Well, another reason to come out and see you live. <laughs> exactly. Thank you so much, Caitlin. It's been awesome to catch Thank up with you. you. You too. Thanks for having me. No worries. This is worth so good. The good stuff. Hardcore Funksters Mammal are back with a brand new single. The song's called Keanu Reeves and it's a sonic assault targeting misinformation and paying homage to the American actor. It's the first taste we're getting from the band's new album that they say will drop in 2024. You can check out the video for the song by hitting the website newcastlelive.com.au The Good Stuff that's it for the good stuff today. I'd love to say a big thank you to Caitlin Harnett for having a chat with us. Thank you for tuning in and hopefully we'll see you tomorrow from 4pm for more of the good stuff. <laughs>